Hey, what's up, everyone? Raging Golden Negro here, having way too much fun, as always. And today, I'd just like to talk a little bit about a pretty hilarious trend I've been noticing over the years. And that is certain groups of people overusing their trump cards so much to the point that it becomes ineffective. We've seen this in many forms over the years, but for the most part, it pretty much just boils down to shaming. You got one side calling everything sexist, racist, homophobic, bigoted, Islamophobic, or whatever else kind of phobia you can think of. You got another group calling everything degenerate. You still got people to this day going to MGTOW videos and trying to use the real man shaming tactics, cause that's gonna work so well. And well, the whole racist and sexist thing kind of touches on it a little bit. But as you escalate these, it gets into the territory where it's more than just shaming. It can literally ruin your life if this is a label that gets stuck to you. After calling everything under the sun every type of ism and phobia imaginable, they've now moved on to calling literally everything you could think of rape. That has lost so much of its power that not even a month into Me Too when they were already preparing for the backlash. A few years ago, it would be unimaginable that there would even be something like a backlash to rape accusations. But the reason all this is important is we've now pretty much come to the end of the road. Because the only trump card a lot of these groups that don't have a logical point to make have left is calling their enemies pedophiles. The good ol' think of the chillins argument, right? Which is kind of ironic, because I doubt anyone thinks of the chillins more than a pedophile does, and yet they're being vilified for it. But either way, notice that everything that I brought up on this list, with the exception of the pedophile accusations and, to a lesser degree, rape accusations, these were all things that used to, at one point, be taken very seriously, but they got overused to the point that they're basically a meme. If literally everything is racist, everything is sexist, and everything is homophobic, then pretty much nothing is, because that's just normal. Eventually, the general public is going to see you for the lunatic that you are when you start calling the most innocuous things, you know, all these isms and phobias. They've memed themselves so hard that it's cool among the kids to make fun of this now. They, oh yeah, I'm so racist and sexist, am I right? It used to be that someone like Jesse Jackson can walk in through your door and say, yeah, it's a nice business you got here. It'd be a shame if someone were to call you a racist and ruin it now, wouldn't it? and he'd suddenly be able to get all the donations he could ever want. But now, while those threats still do hold quite a bit of power depending on where you live, that power is greatly diminished. And I think that's a good thing, because you notice that everything I just mentioned is basically just an appeal to emotion instead of logic. This is what someone who can't win an argument resorts to. They attempt to pin labels to you that'll destroy you out in general society in order to invalidate your opinion, so they can avoid actually addressing your opinion. All these labels, the way they're often used, are just a way to force you to act how the accuser wants you to act if you don't want to ruin your public image and reputation. At the start, anyway, each and every one of these accusations is so severe that even if you can successfully defend yourself in court, which happens more often than not, you have already lost in the court of public opinion. You can never get your reputation back. The mainstream media is not required to put just as much effort into clearing your name as they did smearing it. So people quite often give in, even if they know they are not any of these things, because if they are labeled as such and the label sticks, then it doesn't matter if it's true or not. Their public image is already shattered, and it's not gonna come back. So in a way, I'm actually encouraging people to keep throwing these labels around. Keep doing it, keep watering down their meaning so much to the point they become a joke. It's a good thing, in my opinion. Because as I said, these labels are really just an appeal to emotion. We need to completely strip them of all their emotional impact and actually just look at the facts. And yes, this applies even to the final accusations, the pedophilia ones. And I'm sure you've all noticed this before, right? Quite often when someone gets on someone else's bad side, all of a sudden they're now a pedophile. And to all you virtue signalers out there, if you've ever tried to stick the pedophile label onto anybody that's not actually legitimately diddling underage kids, or you can prove they actually have the intent to do so, then despite all your virtue signaling, you are actually contributing to this. You are contributing to making that word a joke. Especially when you get to the levels of ridiculousness like that one cuck from Kotaku that decided to say that if you find the sorceress from Dragon's Crown attractive, then clearly you're a pedophile. The general public sees stupid shit like this 
And every single time, the impact of that word gets lower and lower. And again, I'm actually kind of glad we're at this point because literally pedophile is all they have left. What could you possibly call someone that's worse than that? Once this final weapon gets completely stripped from these people, they're done. Once they overuse this trump card so much that the general public basically considers it a boy who cried wolf incident, it's over. They have no more appeals to emotion left. They have to argue the facts. So either way, the moral of this story is, if you happen to be in possession of the ultimate trump card that's guaranteed to win you every argument every time, you damn well better not overuse it or you're gonna lose it. You may not notice it because it takes a little bit of time, but every time you use it, it gets less effective. And of course, I mean in the sense of using it inappropriately. If you call someone who's been diddling prepubescent kids a pedophile, that's true and it's not gonna lose any power. But if you no longer have any facts to stand on and yet you are so intent on winning the argument that you have to use that same label against people who find anime girls with giant tits who are clearly adult pedophiles, every time you try to use that label in the future, more and more people are just gonna go, Pfft, yeah, right. Just like with the sorceress incident, huh? But yeah, before I sign off, let me reiterate one more time. This is a good thing because it proves that they are literally on their last legs. When you have your opponent so beaten that the only thing they have left is to try to fling these labels at you, calling you a racist, a pedophile, a rapist, or whatnot, and you know damn well they don't have the proof to back it up because you're not any of those things, you know you've won. The public may not see you've won right away, but all you have to do is withstand their final barrage, just withstand their death throes. Every time you have a public argument with these people, come prepared with the facts. Know they're gonna call you a racist, or a sexist, or a rapist, or a pedophile. That's all they have left. So it's not that hard to present evidence that those accusations are completely false. Just prepare it ahead of time. You know they're gonna be coming your way, so you can prepare and deflect them. The goal at that point is to simply withstand the barrage long enough to see your enemies turn themselves into a living meme. Whether or not they themselves eventually come around, that's irrelevant. What's important is keep pointing out to the general public how they're making fools of themselves. Once you get to the point where you don't even have to respond and the audience just starts laughing every time they open their mouth, that's when you know you have truly won. That's all I gotta say guys, thanks for listening.